left. Let's make them count. YouTube, it's your boy Steals Forever, aka the King of Geeks, and that's right, your boy Steals Forever is back in the building. That's right, your boy Steals Forever is back in the building. Hitting you guys for a quick video, and it's an impression video of what your boy has been playing. I have been playing for the last two, three days, Rogue Company, third person online shooter. If you guys are like tired of Battle Royale, or first person shooters in general and just miss that old third third person feel of a shooter something like you know ghost recon um last of us um some i'm trying to make something else uncharted something like that so calm then you definitely probably want to try out road company it's a uh, four players 4v4 four four. it's got i think right now it has about three two or three modes like it's got like one or two objectives and then it's got like a striker mode which is like a, a countdown mode so basically in countdown all you're going to be doing is just running tickets and once your team you try to cap something you cap the point and then you got a certain amount of tickets like 13 14 tickets and once you hit zero then you know or if you can hold a point to the end of the time then yeah you win and um they have like a plant seek and destroy where you plant the bomb and you have to disarm it so they got that so they don't really have a lot of different modes at the time at this time right now but in this bare bone state is really fun you know what i'm saying it's kind of like it's kind of like so calm mixed with a little bit of counter strike the third person um and it's specialty so there's like there's probably like seven seven to eight i'm gonna say ten 10 different characters and each character class has their own like specialties they use certain guns certain um grenades and things like that and that's what makes like that's what makes the game pop to me because like it's like when you when you have specialty classes it kind of makes it a little bit harder to get bored of because anytime you get tired of playing with one specific specific character you can just switch and that kind of like just changes the way that you know that you know the game feels it just changes it like you know so you know like there's a medic class there's a the guy i'm using is more support class there's a sniper class there's more of a tank class and things like that so it's definitely it's definitely a little different like i said it's definitely different um when you're in the um ship before you're spawning into the location because it does have you dropping down kind of like battle royale you know you have like little parachutes and things like that so you can tell they have like little gliders on the back and you glide into the map but right before you glide in it gives you access to a store kind of like league of legends type store so you, you spawn in i think like fifteen thousand credits and you can buy certain things like you know they most of them give you um a choice of two different guns you can pick one and then you can buy a grenade and you have to buy your perks so what happens is the better you do during the match the more money you get and then between the rounds you can actually buy upgrades and things for different free free character classes and that's what that's what really i don't know it just really feels good to me it really feels good and um it's been a long time since we had like a third party not third party but a third person you know online shooter you know because mostly everything we play now is pretty much first person but it's pretty cool so definitely check it out guys um if you just if you're not sure why i would say watch some twitch watch some youtube um my homeboy broken gamers uh, I know he's enjoying it. He did a he did a video. I might link his in the description below. He's playing it. Um, it's on Epic. If you're doing PC, it's gonna be Epic Store. Uh, it's on PS4. It's on Switch. It's on Xbox, and it is crossplay across all. So that's cool. And it's 60 frames, believe it or not. You know, now this is early access, so it is a little wonky sometimes. So you're gonna see some glitches in it. So don't go in thinking. It's fully polished because I don't even think they even put out a, a patch for the game yet. They put out a roadmap. So if you want to go to the website, it'll actually show you guys the roadmap. And I'll probably just flash it up right up in here. But it's um cool game, man. Cool game. 
definitely like I said watch some footage if you don't want to spend a lot of money like me at first I bought the um the $15 one so you that's basically gonna give you access to the game and then lots of basic amount of characters but then the cool thing is the more you play it gives you credit so you can kind of like buy the characters that you want and um you know once you get enough money for those characters you know or you know, the best thing probably to do is just look on YouTube and then you can kind of like look at different people play different characters or you can just kind of like you know that's probably the best way just look on YouTube and see which ones when people unlock them because I'm pretty sure like some people bought like the $50 bundle pack or whatever and um, got all of them unlocked and everything but definitely if you don't feel like spending a lot of money definitely just buy the $15 that's what I did and I was lucky enough, I was watching one of my homeboys on um, Twitch streams, and he was giving out codes, so I actually got an uh, Epic Store code today. So I've been playing on PC. So, I don't know. I would, you know, uh, I played on PS4 for about three or four days, then I played on PC a day. I couldn't really see too much difference. Not really much at all, to be honest with you. And I don't know, that just maybe just me, that's my experience, like uh, the PS4 version ran okay, and then the PC version ran okay you know it will it does allow up to 120 frames i think that's what i got my set at so i don't know couldn't really tell a difference but you know i haven't played my ps4 version today either and so that might make a difference i think that's what i'm gonna do is just stick to pc today and then tomorrow go back to the ps4 version and then i probably can tell the difference or not you know what i'm saying so that seems like it makes more sense but um i don't know guys you know i'm gonna be playing that I'm probably going to live stream some of this sometime this week. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to do playthroughs on a shooter or anything. So definitely, um, I'm going to, like I said, I got video footage running in the background. But I'm definitely going to do a live stream. Even if it's not just for about an hour, hour and a half. Because, you know, um, when you're running with randoms, yeah, it can drag if you get a bad team. And this is a very team-orientated game. So, yeah, we shall see about that. All right. All right, guys, like always, like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, drop in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys feeling. Are you guys, some of you guys probably already played the game. So definitely let me know what you guys think about Rogue Company. Rogue Company. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you got any more questions about the game, definitely just drop the questions in the comment section below. And I would definitely try my best to answer those questions. Definitely. Like always, guys, thank for the support. You guys have been holding me down. Like always, if you want to you know, support the channel, you can always check out my merch store right over here. And I got t-shirts and things like that for sale. It helps me out, but it gives something back to you guys. Definitely. Like always, it's your boy Steals Forever, a.k.a. the King of Geeks. Appreciate it, guys.